Hi, this is Nick from Canaweld, coming at you from the back of my pickup truck behind the office today in Vaughan, Ontario. Uh, we decided to move the filming outside today because we wanted to take a look at the Magic Moza 150 amp engine driven welding machine. And we want to start it up for you guys and obviously we don't want to do that indoors. So let's take a quick look at this. Uh, this is a machine made in Italy. Like I said, it's 150 amps. It only weighs 73 pounds, which is pretty amazing. Uh, it's probably the lightest that you're gonna find on the market. It's the lightest that I've been able to find so far. And it's paired up with a really great Honda GX200 series engine. Uh, these are awesome engines. Engines Honda uses them for all sorts of different things, so it's easy to find parts for them. They run a long time, and they can take a bit of abuse without falling to pieces on you. So it's a really nice setup between the two. And uh, like I said, it's nice and light. 73 pounds. One person can lift it up. You can use it around the ranch, around the farm, or for doing fabrication work if you don't want to run out hundreds of uh, feet of cables. So let's take a look about uh, how to start this up. So if we want to start it, we have to make sure our electric switch here in the on position. This is our choke and this is our fuel. So the fuel's off, now it's on, and we're gonna be starting this engine cold today, so we're gonna have the choke all the way over. Now it might be hard to hear me once I start this up, so what I'm gonna do is pull it, hopefully it starts on the first pull. Uh, when it does, it's gonna run a little bit, kinda high, and then we're gonna move that choke over and it's gonna slip down into its auto idle mode, uh, which allows it to just chip along slowly and quietly until you're ready to weld and then it's going to spool up the engine. So it helps save on engine life and it helps save on your fuel consumption. So we got everything where we want it to be. We got our switch on. Let's see if we start at first pull. Okay. Now we'll adjust that trope and you'll hear the difference. And there we go. The auto idle has kicked in again to save fuel and to save on the engine. Now we're ready to go. So if our cables were plugged in, as soon as we would go to strike an arc, you would hear the engine spool up again very quickly. And there we go. Now it's off again. So if you're looking to add fuel to this machine, right here, this is your gas tank. You've got a three and a half hour gas tank here, which is quite a bit. That should keep you going for most of the day, especially because you're not welding continuously. And again, it's got the auto idle. Uh, if you need to add oil to the machine, flip it this way, and down here is where you're going to add the oil. Now, if you're working out in cold weather, you want to be using 5W30. Uh, for now, we're sort of in between around here, but if it was summertime, I'd be using 10W30. Uh, having the wrong engine oil in an engine like this can sometimes slow the performance, and it's really important that the machine can spool up and idle properly for you to strike your arc, right? So you want to make sure you're using the right stuff. And you also want to make sure you're using the right kind of gas. Don't use anything less than 86 octane. You need at least that much that everything runs smooth and you have a good flow and you have good consistent power coming from your welding machine. Uh, recently I had some customers call me and they were having a problem where the machine was unresponsive and they would strike up an arc. Uh, and we figured out that it was because they had the wrong engine oil in. But that same problem can also happen because your idle speed has been set too low. If you do think that your idle speed has been set too low, I'm going to save you guys going through the manual and try to figure out from the picture. This right here is the screw. You want ideally your engine to be operating at about 1400 RPM. That's going to be ideal and it's going to give you a nice, clean, crisp start every time you fire it up. Okay, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You get your air filter here, your exhaust system here, so don't put your hand on it after it runs through a bit, it gets hot. Something you're going to want to remember if you've been using this for a few hours is don't pack it up right away. Give it 15 minutes to cool off, especially if you're going to wash it or something like that afterwards. And if you are washing a machine like this, don't spray it with a garden hose. You're going to get water into the air filter and all sorts of other places where you don't want it to be. Just take a damp cloth, wipe it off nicely on the outside, and then maybe blow it with some compressed air. So, one last time, the Moza 150M Magic Welder combined with the Honda GX200 series engine. Awesome little machine. I found a lot of use for it out and about. Sometimes I use it as a generator, sometimes as a welding machine. Thanks a lot for watching today, guys. If you're interested in one of these, follow the link below. You can get a hold of me personally. We can set up a demo for you, or I can maybe drop one off if you're in the neighborhood. That way you can try it before you buy it. Uh, if you like what you saw here today, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you're really into all the computers, you can follow us on Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Stay safe out there and have a lot of fun.